Have you ever wondered why someone would leave a perfectly high paying job to switch to something that pays significantly lower? Do you ever think about why some folks give huge amounts to charity while leaving only a smaller portion of their income for themselves? Or do you wonder why all of a sudden a close friend starts becoming all religious? Or do you question why your colleague with a degree in engineering starts waiting in restaurants? In this video, we'll cover the answers to these questions and many more by studying the theory of motivation behind human behavior. Abraham Maslow puts forward his theory that people are motivated by five categories of needs. Physiological, safety, love, self-esteem, and self-actualization. The appearance of one need usually rests on the prior satisfaction of another, more prepotent need. Maslow explains that more concrete needs, such as food and water, need to be satisfied first, after which other higher needs, such as self-esteem and self-actualization, are addressed. Let us consider the life of Tom, a 30-year-old individual, and see how Maslow's theory explains how he lives through his life. Maslow's hierarchy of needs is often displayed as a pyramid, with the lower levels being made up of the most basic needs, while the most complex needs, self-esteem and self-actualization, are at the top of the pyramid. For Tom, his most basic needs, or physiological needs, deal with the maintenance and functioning of his body. The lowest category includes the most basic needs that are vital to survival, such as the need for water, air, food, shelter, and sleep. Maslow believed that these needs are the most instinctive needs because all other needs become secondary until these needs are met. If Tom needs water, then little else will matter until he has something to drink. If his physiological need is not met, he will struggle to function in the society properly. It is only when these needs are met that Tom will progress upwards on the pyramid to fulfill other, higher, or complex needs. The physiological need will dictate the behavior of Tom to a very large extent. For instance, he just completed his master's degree in engineering, but due to the financial crisis, he is unable to get a job. Does this mean Tom should sit at home until the next opportunity comes knocking at his door? No. To survive, Tom will seek out alternative employment. So he gets a job as a head waiter in his local diner, which helps him make money so that he can afford his basic needs, such as food, water, and shelter. His friends from university, on the other hand, do not understand his predicament, as they are from affluent families and can afford to stay unemployed until the economy gets better and they land the jobs they want, since their parents can always put food and water on the table. Life becomes stressful and tiresome without fulfilling the needs at the base of the pyramid. When we do not possess physiological needs, it's difficult to move up the Maslow's hierarchy. Now that Tom has achieved the fulfillment of his most basic needs of survival, he moves to achieving the next level of needs on the pyramid. This includes the need for safety and security. Our safety needs are apparent even early on during the childhood years of our lives as children. We have a need for safe and predictable environments and typically react with fear or high levels of anxiety when this need is not met. Since Tom is now earning an income and can meet his basic needs, he has income left over to address his safety and security needs as well. Tom currently lives in a neighborhood that has a lot of burglaries, gang wars, and drug abuse. He decides to relocate to a safer and cleaner place. He also decides to start saving up some money for his retirement by opening a savings account. Tom also enrolls in a life insurance plan that will help him cover major hospitalization charges in case of a major operation, if he needs one in the future. In addition to this, Tom also receives a promotion on his job and becomes a manager at the local diner, which makes his job more secure. All these events lead him to have a greater sense of security and safety, due to which he can progress higher on the Maslow's Pyramid of Needs. 
Okay, so if you're enjoying the video so far, I would like you to do something for me. Pause this video right now and do me a huge favor by hitting the like button. Did you do it? If you did, you're awesome. And thank you so much for your support. So according to Maslow, humans also need to feel a sense of belonging and acceptance among social groups, regardless of whether they're large or small groups. This is the third level on the Maslow's pyramid of needs. A human will crave for love, affection, as well as relationships with family and friends and companionship. Since Tom has already met his physiological needs and his safety needs, it's time to address his loneliness. He's felt the need for companionship and for starting a family, so he decides to fall in love and marries the girl of his dreams. They start a beautiful family with two sons and a daughter. All the depression, loneliness, and anxiety that Tom was previously facing has now been replaced with happiness, companionship, love, and a fulfilling relationship. Tom also starts to feel the urge of creating meaningful relationships and friendships apart from his immediate family. Therefore, he decides to join the local book club and the cycling group on the weekends. He also starts to regularly attend his son's football practices and daughter's music practices, where he gets to meet other people with similar interests and hobbies. On every alternate Sunday, he decides to host a barbecue party at his place in which he invites all his new friends, and they all have a good time with their families together. Maslow explains that once a person achieves his social needs, safety needs, and physiological needs, he starts to desire self-esteem needs. Esteem includes two components. The first involves feeling confident and good about yourself, and the second involves feeling valued by others. When esteem needs are not met, you will experience feelings of inferiority. Tom's managerial job at the local diner turns into an opportunity of a lifetime when he gets an offer for the country general manager position of a multinational food chain called McDonald's. This is a huge achievement for Tom, as he now has a great job title, and his respect amongst his peers has significantly increased. Tom has reached his goals and now feels at the top of the world. Sure enough, after a few years pass by, since Tom has reached the epitome of his career, he starts to feel hollow on the inside. He begins to question if life is only about making money, buying a luxurious home and an expensive car. He also starts to question his career path of working at a restaurant. He was not passionate about this career and had pursued it only to meet his physiological or survival needs. His true passion in life is to invent things for which he had done his master's degree in engineering all those years ago in the first place. Tom decides that he has enough savings and a good investment portfolio to generate him steady monthly income going forward. Therefore, he quits his job and starts a technology startup. Although there is little or no money in it currently, he enjoys his work immensely and cannot think of anything else he would rather do in life. Maslow describes this as the fifth stage of the hierarchy of needs called self-actualization. This is the highest level and refers to the fulfillment of a person's potential. It may vary from person to person. For someone, self-actualization could be attained by becoming a painter, while another person could achieve it by becoming a loving parent. Maslow later added another level called transcendence in the pyramid of needs. This is when a person is motivated by values which transcend beyond the self, e.g. nature, pursuit of religion, charity, etc. Few people reach this stage in their lives. These include people like Mother Teresa, Abdul Sattar Eddy, Albert Einstein, Abraham Lincoln, Nelson Mandela, etc., who have made immense contributions to society at large. Understanding Maslow's theory of needs helps a person understand the motivations and psychology behind human behavior. You begin to understand why people do the things they do. A clever person can use this theory to predict how changes in stimulus can affect the behavior of another person. An employer can study how to effectively motivate his employees, while a teacher can study how to create the most conducive learning environment for her students. 
The simplicity and wider applicability of Maslow's theory is one of the reasons why it is regarded as one of the most influential works in modern-day human psychology. Well, I hope you learned something interesting today. And if you did enjoy the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the channel. With that said, have a great day you guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.